So why did I get a second gen 24 valve Cummins? This is my first diesel truck. I'm gonna be answering that today. Back when I was first looking for a truck, I always knew I wanted a diesel. Obviously being at 17 years old, my whole thing was I wanted to get a cheaper diesel truck. So, you know, when I first started looking at them, I was obviously, you know, seeing that six up power trucks were like the cheapest thing out there. So I was like, okay, well, you know, it's a badass looking truck, um, but you know, how badass is the engine? So I started looking and doing my research and obviously, you know, you look up 6L Power Stroke and there's a list of problems that comes down. So I'm like, okay, that makes sense why it's a freaking, you know, $8,000 truck with 150,000 miles because it's rolling coolant everywhere. So, uh, you know, obviously they have the problems like, you know, head gaskets blow, oil cooler is shit, EGR cooler is shit. So yeah, that was off the list at that point. So then my whole big thing was I wanted a crew cab. I don't know why I wanted a true crew cab four-door truck. So, you know, I'd see these second gens and I was like, ah, you know, I don't really know if I want to go with one of these uh, just because the crew cab portion, I don't know if I wanted to haul people around. I can't remember, it was so long ago. So I began looking at third gen Cummins and uh, you know, obviously those are super expensive. If you want like a low mileage third gen, you know, you're going to be looking at like, at least at that time, like a 03 to 05, you know, and plus I don't really like that body style anyway. I was really looking at the 06 to 09s. And if you want something with like 150,000 miles or less, you're looking at like 20, you know, to $25,000. And I was really between like 10 to 15, that was my price range. And then with Chevy and GMC, those are out of the picture because I've never liked Chevy or GMC. Like everyone that knows me knows I don't like Chevy or GMC. <laughs> Body style, just, I don't really like it. And then plus too, like, you know, the engines just aren't as solid as the Cummins anyway. And so I wasn't looking at Chevy or GMC at all. So it was really between Ford and Dodge. And then I was looking at 7.3s too, but 7.3s are kind of pricey. And uh, you know, I don't know, just when I started hearing that Cummins note, that exhaust note, I just like immediately just freaking fell in love with that shit. So that's why I was just solely looking at Cummins plus the reliability um, and the ease of working on the damn engine. So, you know, then I finally got over the freaking thing about, oh, you know, I need a crew cab because I'm like, screw that. Like, I don't need to haul people around like that. So I finally started looking at the second gens. And, uh, you know, another thing too, I'm, I was just such a picky bastard when it came to these trucks. I wanted a short bay. That's what I really wanted. So that's why I kind of started looking at these VP trucks, you know, and uh, everyone else how shitty they are with that damn injection pump. But I wanted a short bed you know, uh, Cummins, that's what I was really looking for. So I know there was the 1998 12 valve short bed. It was the only year they made it and it was like a half year. So those trucks are super rare and they're super expensive. So like I was looking at those things and they were like 20, $25,000. So that's when I knew I had to look at the 98 and a half to O2 uh, 24 valve Cummins. So after looking for like a good two months, I finally stumbled on this guy right here. Wow! And honestly, just like everything was just pretty like set on this damn truck. Like, you know, I liked it because first, you know, I had the badass black paint color. And then second, it actually had a rebuilt VP44 on the truck, which is super nice. Plus the block was also redone too. So I was a non-53 block in this thing. Honestly, it was a really solid truck for the price. The only thing that wasn't done was the transmission. So I kind of knew going into that, that, you know, the transmission, I bought it with 185,000 miles. So I was like, damn, this transmission is going to be pretty bad soon. I just had to deal with that. But just a couple issues, you know, that was going on with the truck. Cause I'm not going to say the price, but I'm just going to say that it was on the lower end between 10 to 15. It's a pretty damn good price. But you know, the transmission wasn't done. Heater core was out. Then also the leather seats were cracking. And then of course the notorious freaking steering was just sloppy as hell. Like it was just so crazy. Cause you know, when I test drove this truck, I was like, I'd never drove like a big truck before period. And then, you know, I was dealing with sloppy steering. Plus this dude lived in the hills. So I'm like winding around. I damn near like went off the freaking road. Cause I was trying to steer this thing with this sloppy ass steering for the first try. And uh, you know, it was just 
I couldn't go anywhere with this windy ass road. It was just terrible. But really the thought process going into this truck, like the licks are cool, exhaust now, all that stuff. But really the main thing for me is I wanted to have an application that was super easy to work on like this thing. Like literally, you know, the engine is right up top. There's nothing covering the engine block. Like literally you have five bolts that takes off the damn block and it exposes everything. So it was really the ease of working on this damn truck. So obviously the price came into play too because the P-Pump trucks were obviously super expensive, you know, compared to these VP44 trucks. So really the price and the ease of working on this damn thing, it was just too good of a combo. Plus the body style was sick and the exhaust note, you can't beat that damn second gen exhaust note, just super throaty. Honestly, this truck is just, to me, the best application for the price and then for your first diesel truck is just super easy to work on. But obviously the people that don't care about long bids, you know, probably go with the P-Pump truck and you'd have no kind of issues and you'd be able to, you know, build like between like 500 and 1,000 horsepower. These things I know with the damn VP44s, you know, most won't get over six, 700 horsepower. So if you're looking for, you know, a big horsepower application, it's not really the uh, truck to work with. But if you're doing towing and stuff like that, you can throw compounds on this thing and put a tuner in it and you'd be probably pretty set. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy, you know, explaining the process of me going and buying this second gen 24 valve Cummins as my first truck. Cause a lot of people ask me that. They're like, why do you go with the, you know, VP44 truck? And it really is cause I don't like the long beds. And then plus two, you know, if I put a P-pump in this truck, having, you know, double the valves, I'm gonna be able to breathe better and get that exhaust out quicker. So, you know, if I really do the P-pump swap, it's just gonna do me way better in the long run. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Yeah.